everyone welcome to Lukman IS. So in this the perspective session we are going to discuss about an important article that came in the Hindu newspaper and this article is about Professor PC Mahal Nobis. So this article is about Mahal Nobis in the era of big data and AI uh, and artificial intelligence. So in this article we will talk about uh, Professor PC Mahal Nobis, we will understand his contribution in the field of statistics, science and technology and also economics. Apart from this, we are going to understand the age of big data. What do we mean by age of big data? Then we will discuss about the problems that we face during COVID-19 and would Mahal Nobis have been alive? How he would have contributed to COVID-19 uh, you know, problems? Apart from this, like solution to the COVID-19 problems. Apart from this, we are going to discuss about artificial intelligence regulation. So let us understand how this article is important for your preparation of the mains exam. Okay. So if we talk about relevance of this particular topic, so this topic is related to GS paper 3 of the UPSC CAC mains exam. So this is the syllabus part that talks about achievement of Indians in science and technology indigenization of technology and developing new technology okay so this is the syllabus part from where this article is uh, relevant okay so uh, keeping in mind let us discuss about professor pc mahal nobis okay so if we talk about professor pc mahal nobis he was like one of the foremost persons who has built the field of statistics in india he was a person with uncanny vision. I mean like he was a visionary person in the field of statistics. And like his effort led to the establishment of Indian Statistical Institute in India. And apart from this like you know he, he was a physicist. I mean like he was a person from science background. He was a physicist and like you know he was a statistician as we discussed. And apart from this he was an economist. He has given the planning thing to India okay so like you know we earlier had five year plans like you know five year plan one two three etc. Mahal Nobis has greatly contributed in five year planning in India. So like if we talk about Professor Mahal Nobis he was the founder of Indian Statistical Institute right. So with this let us understand the contribution of, of Mahal Nobis in big data okay. So when we talk about big data we need to understand what is the meaning of big data. So any data like for which like we have limited resources to analyze it we consider that data to be big because like we have limited understanding we have limited capacity to analyze that data and the era of big data has started 20 years back 20 years back I mean like you know we started seeing the revolution of huge amount of data of different kinds but we were not having the solutions to tackle and analyze those data. So we call it to be the era of big data, but the era of big data, I mean like, you know, it, uh, it was not tackled well. I mean like, you know, people were still developing and if we correlate this thing with the, let's say development of statistics in India. So Mahal Nobis in his time, I mean like he was one of the foremost visionary who has contributed to analysis of, you know, data, statistical data in his time. And he had persuaded the government of India in procuring two first digital computers for India and the first two digital computers were not only the first in India like it was also first in uh, Asia okay it was first in South Asia so that's the thing so PC Mahal Nobis has I mean developed you know uh, like some kind of technologies uh, like you know a small amount of devices so that like you know using those devices he could analyze data and apart from this he has led to the procurement of digital computers for the first time for India. So uh, you know through these contributions we get to know uh, the kind of vision that he had the kind of leadership qualities that he had right. So with his leadership qualities India has uh, like you know procured two first digital computers for India and that has started the age of digitization okay that has started the age of digitization in India. Apart from this like you know if we talk about big data as of now big data means any amount of vast data of of all kinds that we need to analyze right. 
would Mahal Nobis uh, have been present now, he would have tackled the big data in a different manner. He would have, you know, a visionary idea, visionary thing so that like he could, uh, he could foresee like what would be the requirements for India to analyze such a big data and his presence would have made huge changes in the way like, you know, we perceive big data, we analyze big data. So like, you know, as of now, we have seen the emergence of artificial intelligence in multiple, uh, you know, uh, arena, multiple aspects. And if we talk about the artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence came up with some kind of revolutionary thing, but like, you know, it does, it is going to replace many works that are being done by human beings, but it does not have any alternative for the people like, you know, who are being displaced from their uh, job. So, artificial intelligence is connected with machine learning also okay artificial intelligence machine learning and handling of big data it would have been you know much easier uh, like you know would have uh, like you know uh, the presence of mahal nobis right so like professor mahal nobis had led to the procurement of two digital computers as i uh, talked about in earlier right apart from this like apart from this, if I talk about COVID-19, the challenge that the COVID-19 has brought about, that time the entire country and the world was facing problem of handling the data, huge amount of data related to like, you know, patients who are affected by COVID-19 and also how to handle those data, how to, how to give, I mean, like, you know, COVID-19 vaccine certificates, how to, I mean, like, you know, that time we have seen huge amount of development related to technological thing. I mean, like you might have come across the keywords like geofencing. I mean, people who were affected by COVID-19. So like, you know, their mobile was geofenced means like a particular area was demarcated as a red zone where a person or group of persons were affected by COVID-19. And that has hugely helped us. But Mahal Novice could have given us a more solution. He could have given a better solution for us to us to solve those problems of managing the big data. Then if we talk about AI regulation, what do we mean by AI regulation? AI regulation means regulation of artificial intelligence. As you might be knowing and reading from different articles that artificial intelligence is emerging at a very rapid pace and the world at large is, I mean like, you know, coming up with different, different, you know, suggestions, solutions to tackle and to regulate the artificial intelligence. Recently, you might have heard that, uh, that European Union has formulated legislation to regulate artificial intelligence. And at the same time, India is also, you know, like thinking towards bringing uh, some kind of regulation to regulate the artificial intelligence. And there are multiple developments that are happening, but artificial intelligence comes up with some kind of revolutionary technology, but it also has the potential of replacing human beings from job. And it does not provide any alternative to those people who are going to lose jobs. So now it is important that artificial intelligence development is regulated in a manner so that like, you know, the kind of disinformation that may happen because of artificial intelligence that can also be tackled. And so artificial intelligence does have many advantages, but at the same time, it, it has many flaws, it has many shortcomings and these flaws and shortcomings need to be tackled. And above all, there should be a proper regulatory mechanism with the world leaders, with the leaders of, let's say countries like India, so that like they can effectively, you know, foresee the development of artificial intelligence in different uh, arena of technological development. Now, if we talk about PC Mahal Nobe, so as we already discussed that he was a visionary person who was ahead of his time in forcing the, uh, like, you know, forcing the numbers. He was a person who could play with numbers, who could play with, let's say, like, you know, big amount of data related to numbers. So he was a statistician who has not only developed, let's say, simple machines, but also he has helped the government of India in procuring first two digital computers for India. So in this article, the author talks about the importance of a person uh, like, you know, as visionary as PC Mahal Nobis. If we have a person like him now, he will be the right person to guide us in handling big data, 
in handling artificial intelligence regulations etc so with this the author has given a foresight that like you know we can still have some leaders who are visionary who have similar vi uh, visionary capacity as pc mahalnobis and that could like you know who could help india in achieving the uh, you know targets of facing challenges different types of challenges that are bombarded with you know be it artificial intelligence be it machine learning etc okay so that's all from my side for the day thank you so much everyone for watching this video i hope you have a good day ahead thank you